Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Dossie pushing for Obamacare replacement that truly works for the states. By David M. Drucker. Arizona Governor Doug Dossie heads to Washington this week to attend the Conservative Political Action Conference. The Washington Examiner asked him to preview his main priorities regarding Obamacare replacement and what they should know about Arizona's health care challenges. Washington Examiner, how should Congress go about replacing the Affordable Care Act? Dussie, the answer is A, as expeditiously as possible, as long as B, it's well conceived. The damage from Obamacare is clear, insurance markets have been wrecked, premiums have soared, and promises such as you can keep your doctor, have been broken. That's what happens when one party imposes a one-size-fits-all solution on one-sixth of the country's economy without even bothering to read the bill. Congress should do the opposite of what occurred in 2010, it should seek to expand choices for consumers, not limit them, it should encourage innovation in the states, not stifle it and it should read the bill and understand the implications of what it's passing instead of simply hoping for the best despite ample evidence to the contrary. Washington Examiner, you and other governors are coming to Washington to talk about your work on this. How are you working together and what do you need Congress and the administration to understand about the process and the results you're trying to achieve? Dussie, earlier this year, House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy asked governors across the country to weigh in on the effort to replace Obamacare, and we've done so. We want flexibility to adapt healthcare regulations that reflect what our state's citizens need. We want to ensure that the rug isn't pulled out from under people who need help and access to healthcare. And we want to get it right the first time without inflicting all the trauma that came along with Obamacare. Congressional Leadership and Health and Human Services, Secretary, Tom, Price are listening, and that alone is a vast improvement. We have a good framework to continue the conversation and move forward. Washington Examiner, do you support maintaining provisions that prohibit insurance companies from denying coverage based on pre-existing conditions? Dussie, yes. We all know individuals who are unable to find coverage due to a pre-existing condition. These individuals need access to health insurance and for them, the thought of repeal and returning to a time when they could not buy coverage is scary. I think there's broad consensus on this point, and I'm confident we won't go back on it. Washington Examiner, how quickly would you like to see Republicans in Congress, and President Trump, move in repealing and replacing Obamacare? Would you like to see the effort move as quickly as possible? Or would you prefer they take a step-by-step -step approach that phases out Obamacare over a couple of years, and phases in the new law over the same period? Dussie, we've had six years of poor implementation of bad policy. As a result, in 2017, most Arizonans shopping for healthcare coverage on the federal marketplace will have a single choice for coverage and some people will see a premium increase of over 100 percent. Fixing this won't happen overnight and I think most people understand that. But there should be no ambiguity, the taxes, mandates and federal control that comprise Obamacare should be repealed as quickly as possible, and the necessary elements of a health care plan that puts patients first and ensures the broadest possible access to quality health care should replace them. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.